Mario Kart 8 is without a doubt my favorite Mario Kart game as well as one of my favorite games of all time. It brought so many new mechanics and fun courses to the series, and I put a lot of time into it. So when Deluxe was announced, I was pretty excited. Not only would it add proper battle tracks and items, but also have 200cc time trials which I really wanted them to put in the original. After finally getting it in December, I have enjoyed my time with it overall. However, recently I watched a video of someone called Nikmo who discussed whether the computers cheat or not in the game. It wasn't that bad of a video, and he came to the conclusion that they don't have any unfair advantage. It just has to do with how we look at computers in video games. Now, this video is 8 months old at this point, but after looking at the comments, the feedback was somewhat negative and many people seem to have the wrong idea of how the game's computers actually play. So I thought, I can do better at explaining it. I played Mario Kart 8 competitively for years, so I'm going to finally answer this question using my own experience in the game. Does the AI in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe cheat? First of all, let me give a disclaimer. When it comes to 200cc, they definitely have an unfair advantage. If you ever see a computer turn a corner, it's as if they are using hacks or something. That I will admit. But in this video, I will be mainly addressing 150cc. I'll cover topics such as rubber banding, unfair items, and the difference of racing against a computer compared to a human. Let's begin by talking about a very infamous method seen in previous Mario Kart games. Rubber banding. Rubber banding is when the computers are given an unnatural speed boost in order to catch up to the player in first so they don't get too far ahead of the other computer players. This is definitely unfair, since only computers get this kind of speed boost and it can be very fast. The best example I can give of this is in Double Dash. It can be super frustrating when this happens, but has this been carried over to Nintendo's recent Mario Kart game? No. No it has not. I feel like this complaint simply comes down to whether someone can front run a track properly. Since I've played this game for a long time, I tend to be in first a lot when racing against computers, and I have never seen any case of rubber banding. Usually, I am able to get a huge lead against them. It simply comes down to the fact of whether you are good at the game or not. I know people don't like it when others say this, but this message is to everyone who thinks the computers are cheating. Get. Good. Going a bit deeper into rubber banding, I set up a small test. I did one race where I didn't move at all, and one where I drove my best. I recorded how long it took for second place to reach a finish line in both situations. I did this for two tracks, Mario Kart Stadium and Water Park. For the first test on Mario Kart Stadium, it took 2 minutes and 5 seconds for second place to finish. And then when I didn't move for the second race, it took 2 minutes and 26 seconds. For Water Park, the normal race ended up being 2 minutes and 12 seconds, and the next race where I didn't move was 2 minutes and 43 seconds. You might think that this was rubber banding, but the reason for this was actually because of items. You'll understand what I mean later in the video. Now let's talk about the items. Yeah, you know what moment I'm referring to. That time when everything's going smoothly. You see the finish line ahead. And then the blue shell seeks your blood. Sacrifices need to be made sometimes, okay? Alright, so about the blue shells. These things have been around for a long time. I even have a poster that came out with a pre-order of the Wii U version. And yeah, even Nintendo knows about the monster they created. You might see this argument from someone occasionally. They get too many blue shells compared to me! People seem to miss the most obvious reason for this, and I don't really blame them. When we race against computers, we think it's a 1 vs 11, but it isn't. It's a free-for-all. Yes, blue shells are very uncommon, and one might seem like getting hit by three of them is unfair, but there are 12 racers. It isn't one computer getting three blue shells in one race. That would be unfair. Let's say that three computers are in spots where getting a blue shell is possible, and that their odds for getting one are the same. This means that the chance of one blue being obtained is three times greater than if you were in that situation. The odds are the same, but because it is three racers, the chances of one of them getting a blue is higher. You might say that it is unfair since you are the only one who gets hit by them, but that would make sense. People generally race a lot better than computers, so you'll be the one who is most likely in first for the most amount of time. Speaking of probability, let's now discuss the argument that some people had with computers. There were a few people in the comments accusing the computers of having an unfair advantage because they were getting items like stars and triple mushrooms in 4th or 5th. This complaint just comes down to those people not understanding how the game works. So, allow me to explain it right here. What item you get in Mario Kart 8 depends solely on how far away you are from first place. That means that even if you are in second, 
If first place is half a lap ahead of you, then you will get items such as golden mushrooms and stars. This also means that second place getting triple reds, and then you getting blued or hit by lightning isn't an unfair advantage. In fact, it is much, much worse online. That's not an unfair advantage given to the computers. Everyone has that opportunity. If anything, it means you are very good at front running. I don't even need to convince you with words on this. Just look at this example. As you can see, I am very close to first place. Since I am not far away, I will get items like bananas and coins. Nothing strange here. Now, there is a cannon with a set of boxes right before it. If I wait for first to get shot through the cannon and then hit the item box, I will get a really good item. But once I land, I am back to being close to first. I don't think it gets any more factual than that. Okay, so this is very interesting. I took a look online and found this item probability chart for the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8. Nickmo did show this in his video but only for the computers. But, if you look at the chart for the players, there are some differences. For example, computers appear to have a better chance at gaining items like bananas and red shells. You could say that they have an unfair advantage, but let's look further across the chart. According to this, players have a better chance at getting blue shells. And even items such as stars and bullet bills have a better rate than if a computer wanted to get them. And according to this, it's impossible for a computer to get either triple reds or crazy eights in Grand Prix. Seems kind of strange. So there may be a chance that this is inaccurate. So if you think about it, the player might actually have the advantage here. With that said, these are the results of the Wii U version. And since new items and double items were introduced in Deluxe, this chart would be slightly different. It looks like both players and computers have their own item advantages to probably balance it out more. The final point people made regarding items was that the computers are given some sort of aimbot when it comes to items such as bananas and shells. First of all, I think the argument that computers easily snipe people with bananas just comes down to how aware you are when driving. If the AI racer is straight behind you and they throw a banana forward, yes, you will probably be hit most likely because you are not taking any effort to avoid it. The rear view camera is very useful, as it helps you get an idea of where people are positioned behind you. The whole idea is to make sure someone isn't directly behind you, and if they are, you just move out of the way. Then if they throw a banana, you won't drive straight into it. Now it is time to talk about green shells, and let me tell you, if there is one item that is truly evil, then it is these things. Even blue shells can't compete with these items, and here is why. <coughs> Many people insist that the computer's aim with these is too good and is cheating, but that isn't the case. You see, there is a little thing about them that I like to call smart bouncing. It is when a green shell bounces off a wall and the game purposely positions it in a way so it'll hit you. This seriously isn't a joke, it happens so many times. You will most likely get hit because of this, and not because the computer has a good snipe. Is it unfair? Of course, and it is really frustrating. But the same thing works with the normal player's green shells, so it isn't an unfair advantage. But with that said, you probably won't ever look at them the same way again. You'll just be praying that it doesn't hit you. Now, some people will probably talk about some moment in the comments where they were hit by a ton of items and insist that the computer does cheat. But the thing is, stuff like that will eventually happen. You can get very unlucky in a race, but it isn't cheating in any way. I guess the last complaint I would address is how the computers appear to drive faster than players on straightaways without any sort of items. And this really comes down to a few variables. First of all, you might still be accelerating and a computer will pass you because they already have top speed. That's normal, since you are still in the process of speeding up. The bigger counter argument for this though is coins. People seem to brush off coins as useless, but they are one of the most important items in the game. You see, each coin you get increases your top speed by a bit. That means that your driving speed compared to others will be faster. You can only get a maximum of 10, but that makes a huge difference compared to having only one or two. That's why time trials try to get 10 coins as fast as possible. So a lightweight computer could pass a heavyweight player if they have a lot more coins. I also saw a few complaints of how the computers can instantly go back to their top speed as well as not lose any speed when off-road. In regards to the first complaint, lightweights have a really fast acceleration rate compared to heavyweights. With that said, I looked at both types and how they accelerate after being hit by an item. I saw virtually no difference compared to when I got hit. The same thing applies to off-road. Despite what some believe, after testing it, I noticed that there is no advantage given to them when not on the track. They lose the same speed that players do. In the end, it really just matters on how well you know the game. People tend to just assume that the computers have an unfair advantage, but it's just because they don't know how Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and the Wii U version work. In terms of 150cc, it is completely balanced, and neither the player nor the computer have any unfair advantages they can use. It just depends on assessing the situation and approaching it in a smart way. So yeah, 
that's all I really have to talk about in regards to the video. If anyone wants to watch it, I'll have a link to it in the video or description somewhere. Hopefully I'll get my next big video out soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, if you enjoy them, make sure you share the video and subscribe. I've been Nintendo Black Crisis, and I'll see you guys later.